If you have a set of YouTube videos you wish your students to watch and you'd like to have them all within your Dropbox instructions, you'll want to follow this tutorial so that a student clicks on a text link and then the YouTube video is going to open up in something called an overlay. An overlay is a window that cannot be blocked by pop-up blockers because it's part of the web page. What's nice about this process is you can have as many links as you want to YouTube videos. They don't have to be embedded and students can click on it and never leave the My Courses area. So it's very important that you follow this tutorial carefully and don't miss any steps. You should also note that this tutorial assumes you feel comfortable working within the source code of the HTML editor. If you do not, please contact My Courses for Faculty at spcollege.edu for help. Now there's a couple things that you want to have ready. One is on a new tab you want to have the YouTube video that you are going to embed or use in the overlay. You want to have that ready and then there's a, a, a couple pieces of HTML code that we're going to be using and we'll get to those. So you're going to create, go ahead and create your Dropbox folder. Within the Dropbox instructions area you're going to click on the HTML source editor icon. You're now going to highlight the text that goes from iframe to iframe and you're going to copy that to your clipboard. You're going to go ahead and paste it into the HTML source editor and click save. You now want to type in the text that you want to have the video open in an overlay and you're going to highlight that text. You're now going to click on the quick link icon and scroll down to where it says URL and you're going to click on that. Now we're going to go over to our YouTube video where we already have set up on our tab and we're going to click on the share icon and then we're going to click embed. You're going to click where it says HTTPS and you're going to highlight all the way until it goes until you see the quote and right before the quote and you'll see this weird set of ID numbers. You're going to go ahead and paste or copy that sorry, to your clipboard. You're going to go back into My Courses. You're going to highlight where it says URL and HTTP. And you're going to paste in the uh, URL that you just put there and click Insert. So now what you want to do is you want to highlight the target equal overlay. And you're going to copy that to your clipboard. We're going to go back into our HTML source code. We're going to find where it says target equals self. We're going to highlight that and we're going to paste in target equal overlay and we're going to click save and now we click save and close. So now if I go ahead and preview this, what the student will see in this particular case is a link and if they click on that link it will open up the YouTube video in what's called an overlay and they can play it right there they can watch the whole thing and they can scrub through, they can close it, and they can continue to play it, play it again as many times as they want.